right. See, if I had had the building open, you could have done this already. <laughs> In an hour. Need another one? No. Okay. The uh, bit just came a little loose. I'm sitting there thinking, how come it's not going deep enough? Now I know why. <laughs> All right, for those of you watching this, this is the Terrapin Carolina. And, uh, yeah, through. This one was hit by a car a while back. We've lost tons and tons of blood. I've seen several pictures of this guy between then and now, and we would ordinarily sedate this guy for this procedure, but it turns out that we've lost so much blood and we're so traumatic and shocked, it's just easier just to put in these small holes, which is the equivalent of like a piercing, all right? Um, and hopefully save this turtle's life. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do right now. Um, it turns out that where this piece of membrane right here is, that's the periosteum that lines the inside of the shell. Every bone in this turtle or every bone in every animal is covered with periosteum. So the good news is all this shell right here is probably going to die. And part of this shell here as well, because you can see where it's removed from the periosteum. But we're going to put this shell back. It's kind of a physiological bandage. And over the next few weeks, we'll give it a chance to heal as much as possible. And then we'll come back in with a different Dremel tool and a different bit. We'll put them under anesthesia once we're stable. And we'll grind away all that dead bone. Then what's, no, what's going to happen is where all this fibrous tissue is, or that, that tissue right there is, it's going to actually start to fibros in and become cart cartilaginous over time. And that'll actually keep this guy alive. So anyway, that's what it looks like for now. Um, I, was I was hoping I was going to see this turtle today. I'm really glad. <laughs> this will actually break down. And hang on, it's stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going to have to repeat. All right, for decades, two decades to be specific, I have been using stainless steel wire in most of my patients. As a matter of fact, all of them. And then I realized after looking at some of my older patients that I'd see maybe like 10, 15 years later, that the wire is still there and sometimes even studying their growth. So what I've started to do now is use this floral wire because this is biodegradable. It'll actually break down over time. It's very, very thin. It's strong enough. It'll, you know, it'll bend and twist well for, you know, for the, the wire suture that it becomes. And over about a year, this will actually break down and fall off the tortoise as opposed to the stainless steel, which will always be in there and be a nidus for infection. So for you guys fixing tortoises that are going to be wildlife, think of this as absorbable suture. How's that for cool? Cool. I'm over here just cutting my gloves. <laughs> I'm impressed at how, how amazing these, how sharp these things are. Yeah. So, you know. You're a strange creature. <laughs> That's not the turtle growling. <laughs> mad, mad turtle. I just need more light in here. Yeah, when's, when's next door going to be ready? Next what? Next door. Very hopefully, very soon. We're, we've been delayed. Our 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 builders are delayed just a little bit, but not much. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna do this all day, every day. Did you know that? Hoping. Stop plucking my ears! <laughs> Ow! Don't move. <laughs> Got it. There's just something wrong with this What's picture. What's the other side? <laughs> Okay, there's right one here. side, and no, I will twist it once we're okay, both we lined up. Okay, we together. We gotta move that kitty over to his new enclosure. After a while, we gotta go from one to the other, and it's you gotta put them together and pray that he goes into it. He's not a happy kitty at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do we have a broken bobcat? He's got a broken leg. Well, he's gonna fix it. Well, Dr. Lenny already did. Oh, okay. He splinted. Unless you want to sedate him today. She's thinking about amputating it. Why well, not an external? Splitting wildlife is just weird. External would be amazing. Wouldn't it? To be a phibia and That'd be sexy as hell. To be Wildcat phibia. running around with stainless steel hanging out of his leg. Yeah, he's going to catch him and clean it. Hmm? You don't have, well, now you got to catch him and change his splint every week. Two, every two, she said. Ooh, that's still a long time to be in a splint. How am I going to catch him and scrub them big That's trips? why I would never use a splint in wildlife. But how am I going to catch him and clean the externals? You don't have to. You really, nine times out of ten, they He'd clean themselves. He'd probably look at himself. Oh. Tibia, fibia. Yeah, think like a wildcat woman. Ulna, tibia, fibia, ulna. Yeah, well, humerus and, uh, and radius and ulna. Radius, ulna, humerus. This was 
Two Ian here Morris? and here. No, two down, one two up. Two down, one up. That's what, okay, that's, did you see the x-rays? Yeah, no. No. I'll show you the x-rays. Pretty impressive. I'm out oh. of that loop. No one likes me anymore. Huh? I said I'm out of that oh, loop. No one likes me stop. anymore. stop. Don't even pity party up in here. There ain't no pity party today. Ain't no pity partying up in here. Look at that thing just going right back into place. It's going to pop in just a second. So you don't have to worry about reducing that fracture right there to pop um, it up? It's probably going to come apart, huh? Well, the, the one I can see that's probably already dead. Okay. You know that's going to feel better with that put together. Yeah. Now I'm going to put probably, I use the um, safety gel on there, just a, a, a hydrogel type thing. I don't have any silvadine right now. Okay, that's fine. Hydrogel's good just to keep it, and then I'll put some... Um, yeah, I'll wrap it. Hydrogel? Hold on. Let's get this stable. It's a hydrating dermal wound dressing okay. with yeah, a leg. There. What's that? A linate? Alignate? I don't even know what that is, but it's great. So, that's what I'm going to do. Little creature, you're fighting me. Well, I fight you too. What, you fight you? Nah, I'm a good guy. What? I'm good. <laughs> That's what I want right here, right under my nose. I'm over those colors. I'm getting a different color. Okay, I'm going to send you with some of these. Take care of a lot of our turtles. Yeah, I could definitely use some bread wrap. Mm -hmm. All right, now there's that. I didn't bring my other stuff in the car. What are we looking for? Maybe a pick. Let's get this reduced a little bit more. Oh, a pick. I don't know that I have a pick. Yes, I do. I know you do. You know I do. Hold on. Let me put the pouch right If you've seen me use it, you grab one. Perfect. I know, right? Place. Uh, your pick wants to break. That's one thing I don't like to hear it go pop. Do you hear All right. We're ready to dress. Ten. We're stable. And I don't think I have you to heal. Anymore. Sorry about the piercings. <laughs> They'll be sexy later. <laughs> The stories you will tell. Yeah, the humans pick you up and drill holes in you. 